me attack, baby I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it no cap, only got one so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad It's your girl CC, aka Cecilia Robinson, aka CC, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, I need you guys to like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell so you know when I'm coming on. Listen, please, 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 and I'm begging you, please, please share the videos. Guess what, you guys? I am back to dropping videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're gonna do this. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I took the necessary leave I needed to take from YouTube, and I'm back. Back with more fire content, back with more energy, and yes, thank you. To my loyal subscribers who have always been there supporting me, tuning in, sharing my videos, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to the channel, please hit the playlist to start from the beginning and get the full effect of what's going on, and so you can know the whole story i no longer do lives on sundays but what i do do monday through thursday 7 p.m central standard time trill after dark over on trill talk media please 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 go over to trill talk media another youtube channel subscribe check out the content check out the topics me black and seven eight we have fire fire stories over there so please, please, please support, support, support. Now, I'm finna sit back and let y'all enjoy this video. Y'all be smooth. Listen, after Shy gave me that heart-to-heart -heart talk um, in, the, in the bathroom, I got to be honest with you, I felt like shit. Um, I was trying to put water on my face um, to try to make me look normal again, but my eyes was bloodshot red. My nose was red. The tip of my nose was fucking red. I look like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. And I don't know why I cried, but my lip, when I cried, my, my, my fucking lips swell up like somebody hit me in my mouth. Um... I was, you know, I was, I had a, a hard ass cry or something, you know, trying to catch my breath and shit and, and, and get my composure back and bitches is looking at me and trying to figure out what's wrong with me and some of the bitches, you okay and all this other shit, just being nosy because I know they really don't give a fuck about me and I felt so fucking vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people like, well, you know, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's all right to show your softer side. You can't be hard all the time. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no motherfucking Hallmark movie. This is motherfucking prison. You know, I don't have, I don't have it in me to be vulnerable up in here for these bitches. These bitches are predators. You know what I'm saying? They always looking for signs of fucking weakness. And here I am in a motherfucking child hall in a fucking bathroom crying my fucking eyes out because a piece of shit ass motherfucking uh, uh, kitchen manager done done some shit to me. You know, I really want to go upside his motherfucking head, but I can't. At that moment, I felt like motherfucking shark food inside a shark tank. You know, and to add insult to injury, injury, when we walk out the bathroom, me and Shy, um, um, Dunlap is standing a couple of feet away from the motherfucking um, bathroom door, rocking back and forth on his heels with his hand in his pocket, and he's sipping on a motherfucking cup of coffee, and he look over the cup at me, and as soon as he make eye contact, he smirk. You know what I'm saying? He smirk, and I promise you, I promise you, it's like his dick got hard. You know, and at that moment, I realized what type of piece of shit this motherfucker is. He's a motherfucking predator. You know, what type of man gets off on hurting women? You know, in my head, this motherfucker was a serial killer. It just is what it is. You know, it's not like me and him had an emotional conversation and we had a breakthrough and I was just weeped into his motherfucking arms. This motherfucker had insulted me. He had accused me. Um, 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 I mean, he had, he had mentally and emotionally hurt me, you know, and he was over there proud of him motherfucking self. He was happy. I was that way. So was I feeling good? Not at all. Not at fucking all. You know, so when they searched us out, 
uh, searched us down so we could leave out. I had absolutely nothing to say. I, I, I felt violent. I'm not going to lie to you. I felt violent. I felt like I wanted to beat him the fuck up. I felt like attacking him. But I knew that would only lead to more problems. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't in prison for being fucking violent. I was in fucking prison from robbing banks. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and calm my motherfucking nerves. Uh, Sha was trying her best to make me feel better. You know... And I appreciated her. I appreciated her from the bottom of my heart because the things she told me and what she did, um, she didn't have to. And she kept saying over and over, we going to get that motherfucker. We going to get that motherfucker. But here's the thing. I had the opportunity to stud up and stand with them and get his ass up out of there. But I seen no reason to. You know what I'm saying? And that shit backfired on me. So I didn't need us to do a motherfucking thing. I needed to get his ass up out of there myself. I needed to do it. I had to do it for me. You know, it just is what it is. So when I get back to the unit, you know, it was a couple of minutes before it count. Um, Miss Miss K, she looked at my face and she, what's wrong with you? You know, she thinking that I had, you know, a bad phone call from home or some shit. And I tell her, you know what happened? So she get pissed off. She, she says she's tired of these motherfuckers. The staff member says she says some of them are just horrible, um, horrible ass people. And she, she giving me different remedies and shit of what I can do. You know, I can write him up. I can complain. I can do all this, that, and the third. But I didn't want that shit. You know, I wanted some hardcore motherfucking get back. It just is what it is. And people have people don't realize this about me. Um, they should by now. I'm vindictive and I'm motherfucking spiteful. You know what I'm saying? So I really, like I said, wanted some hardcore get back. I wanted him to hurt the way I hurt it. I wanted him to to I wanted his stomach to feel in knots. I wanted him to look vulnerable. I was gonna get that motherfucker. In one way of another one way or another, I was gonna get his ass. It just is what it is. Um after count time, um Shaq called me out the window. You know, and she, she, hey, bitch, you coming outside? You coming to the common room? You going to dinner? Da, 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 da. I tell her ass, I said, no, nah. I said, I don't want to come out to sale. I said, I need to take some time and get my life together right now. I said, I'm all over the fucking place. And I said, I don't like being emotional in front of people. You know what I'm saying? She tell me she understand and she'll just see me tomorrow. I tell her, okay, cool. I go in the bathroom. I take a fucking shower. And I'm not going to lie to you. I cry some more in the shower because I was just that fucking pissed. I was pissed. I was hurt. My feelings was hurt. I don't like my feelings being hurt. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Now, I get out the shower, get, you know, get put on my little comfortable clothes and shit. Get up in my bunk. Miss K, she cooked. Um, she cooked for us. And we watched television. And she really didn't try to talk to me that much. Um, she understood what I was going through. So, you know, she just, you know, bitch, if you want to talk, I'm here. Other than that, she, we going to watch some TV. We going to laugh and it is what it is now about 6 30 um shy calls me out the window again so i get in the window i ask her what's up she tell me hey bitch you know she extra hype hey bitch you need to go check the motherfucking call out i'm like what she go check the call out i'm like why was on that she go check the call out so i said okay you know what i'm saying i put on my my, my shoes because you got to be properly dressed when you go out your cell i put on my shoes and shit and i go downstairs and i check the call out and listen when I seen my motherfucking name on that call out and what was next to my name, it's like my heart did not fall to my pussy. My heart took a detour and went straight to my ass. So, boop, 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 boop. I looked, it said Cecilia Robinson, parole board hearing. Baby, bitch, what? Parole? You know what I'm saying? Hold on. On one hand, I'm happy than a motherfucker. Cause maybe this this motherfucking nightmare is over with. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this shit is over with. Maybe I can get a chance to go home to my kids. You know what I'm saying? Then on the other hand, I'm nervous than two hookers in church with short ass skirts on with no motherfucking panties. Hold on. Bitch, you done went to the hole. Goddamn it, you done made false reports on staff members. Uh, 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 you got a motherfucking Priya against you. You know, motherfucking filed false reports on your ass. Uh, you done been in altercations. You just got into it with the motherfucking staff member. Bitch. What if these people tell you, you bitch, stay here for another year? You know what I'm saying? Look, my stomach instantly. I'm sorry, I had the motherfucking Bee Gees. You know what I'm saying? I, look, I clench my ass cheeks together. And I walk back up the stairs, and it's like I was walking in the fog. You know what I'm saying? Going back to my motherfucking cell, put my key in the door, and get up in there. Miss K was like, what, what was down there? 
I said, I go up for parole tomorrow. She said, you serious? I said, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I got little tears and shit in my eyes and everything. I'm trying to hold that shit. Hold that shit back. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more motherfucking crying today. Ain't no more. You know? So she she get excited and shit. She, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. She, I wish I could go up for parole. You know what I'm saying? And I had to remember, she's a fucking lifer. This is an opportunity that she probably would never get. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me act like I'm I'm grateful. You know, let me act like I'm motherfucking grateful. And I got to be honest with you. I don't drink. I don't smoke. But at that point in time, I needed a motherfucking shot of Hennessy or some gin or some, some rock or something. And I needed some weed, some strong motherfucking weed, some gelato, some some, some motherfucking uh, 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 some, some shit. You know, I needed drugs. I, it just is what it, my nerves was motherfucking. I was stressed. God damn, the only thing I could think about doing was going in the shower again and, you know, playing my pussy, getting one off. You know what I'm saying? Let me be a stress reliever to my motherfucking self because I'd be damned if motherfucking Hank Hill, a.k.a. Miss K, was going to eat on this coochie. You know what I'm saying? She ain't said she like it, but I wasn't going to make no advances. So I went in the shower, you know, played my pussy a little bit, got, got my shit off, you know what I'm saying? Felt a little better and everything. Came back out, now I could think clear. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got up there on my bunk and I ate some more. Um, I ate some oil and I looked at TV and I prayed, you know, I just prayed God, Father God, listen, tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, I did a lot of shit while I've while been up in this jail, um, tomorrow, please let them people say, bitch, you going home, you know what I'm saying, please let them say that, and I went to sleep praying, you know what I'm saying, initially I wanted to go to sleep plotting, but I actually went to sleep praying, you know, early the next day, they, but of course, 4.30 in the morning, wake us up, Bitch, get ready for work. I get in the shower, get dressed. And when I go downstairs, it's like everybody had all this fucking energy. You know what I'm saying? So I see Shy, she talking to me and everything. And she hype, you know, that I'm going up for parole. And she, bitch, you finna get the fuck up out of here. I'm telling you, they're gonna parole you. They're gonna put you, parole you. And I'm kind of nervous because so many people have said when they went up for parole after they done went to the hole and shit, that they got denied parole. They got hits. They say they wasn't rehabilitating and all this other shit. And and listen, I'm nervous going off other people's stories. You know what I'm saying? I already know the shit that I done been in. Have it go. When we get to the child hall, I kind of um um sink into myself while everybody else being social and everything. And I'm in my inside my head. You know what I'm saying? My whole plan is to make it through this this morning, get the breakfast party over with, let Dunlap know I have a parole hearing, which I'm pretty sure he already knew. And so I can get the fuck up out of here. I want a peaceful day because I need my man right when I get over to the fucking parole hearing. You know what I'm saying? Um, just to show us shit stink. Dunlap comes out with the other kitchen managers, and you know they tell us to line up so we can go into our prospective areas. And so everybody lines up and everything. I get in line and he's speaking to everybody. Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. He gets to me, he smirk. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at him I'm like, that's fucking smirk. It 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 chills my shit. You know, because like I feel like you you Listen, I felt like food for him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like that fucking feeling. I'm not food for no motherfucking body. I didn't like that shit. So we get up in there, and I remember the day before when I went over to the serving area, he told me that's not your fucking area and all this other shit. So I just put my apron on, and I stood by the entrance to the serving area. You know what I'm saying? So he walked past me. He, why the fuck you standing right here? Now, listen, today, he got more cuss words for me than he had the day before. The day before, he was trying to be a little professional. But today, he's being a, a, a extra dickhead. You know what I'm saying? He, why the fuck you standing right here? Because yesterday, you knew, you told me I wasn't serving. I didn't know where you wanted me at. That's why I'm standing right here. You know? And I'm trying to be respectful. But you can see the, the bitterness in my face. And you can see the you can see the twitch in my motherfucking lip. You know what I'm saying? You know I have a problem with you. He know I have a problem with him. And he's letting me know he don't give a fuck. It just is what it is. He said, you know what? You right. He said, I got something more for you. I said, okay. He said, you running cake today. I said, okay, me and who else? He said, you by yourself. Now, here's the thing. The cake was inside a warmer. The warmer was seven feet motherfucking tall. You know what I'm saying? It took two people to push this big motherfucker. And inside the warmer was 20 big ass trays of fucking cake. 20 big ass trays of motherfucking cake. And it take two people to hold this motherfucker. And on each each tray is 150 slices of motherfucking cake. 
You know what I'm saying? He tell me I'm running this shit by my fucking self. So me, it's like, okay, you trying to make this shit hard for me. Okay, since you trying to make it hard, I'm going to work smart and not hard for myself. So I get behind a fucking warmer and I push. I push the warmer to the to the center of the fucking serving area. In the, in the little, you know, the serving area. So he come up in there and he got his fucking cup of coffee and he's sipping it. And he watched me push this shit all the way to I wanted to be at. He take his coffee after he sip it one last time, sit it down on the counter, ask me, what the fuck are you doing? I said, you got me running cake by myself. I said, it take two people. I said, so I have to work smart and not hard. He said, no, you're going to work hard today. He said, push that shit back and don't you ever move it unless I tell you to. Listen, I want to spit in his motherfucking face. I'm not going to lie to you. I want to spit in his motherfucking face. I just did. I wanted to take my motherfucking fist and pound that motherfucker in his fucking head. I want to fight him. I wanted to fight him. Don't talk to me any kind of motherfucking way. My daddy is dead, bitch. You know what I'm saying? My motherfucking mama is dead. You don't talk to me any type of way, bitch. Especially when I'm talking to you like you got some fucking sense. All right, cool. I get on the other side of this fucking woman and I'm pushing it. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not pushing this shit fast. This motherfucker is walking behind me. Push! Push! You know what I'm saying? Yelling. Motherfuckers looking at me and him and everything. And he's yelling at me like I'm a motherfucking workhorse. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a fucking slave. And I'm talking about I'm enraged. And I gotta, gotta, I gotta be honest. I feel some little tears stinging the back of my motherfucking ass. But I'm not finna motherfucking cry. Fuck this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I push that motherfucking thing back over there. And I'm pushing that shit. Because the matter I'm getting, I'm getting stronger and stronger. And I'm pushing that motherfucking warmer. So finally I push it over there and I... Open that bitch and I slam it open. You know what I'm saying? He, you break it, you go into the hole. I look at him. You know what I'm saying? I pull out the first tray and that motherfucker was heavy. But I'm not going to lie to you. I was so fucking mad. I don't care. I don't care. I pick this shit up and I, you know, I, I take it over there to the serving station. I'm not going to let this motherfucker or allow this motherfucker to feel like I'm fucking weak. He already think I'm weak because he doing this bullshit to me. He, 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 you know, he's getting off on this shit. So I put it over there. He, that go the girl. That a girl go. There you go. I knew you was strong. And I look at him. You know what I'm saying? And I look over at his fucking coffee. He walk away. He turn around and he walk away. I turn around and I walk away too. As soon as I walk past, I spit right in his motherfucking cup. <laughs> Stir that shit up and keep walking. I walk back over there to the fucking warm and get another pan of tray, um, another tray of cake. You know what I'm saying? He, I'm pulling it out. He tell me, what you doing? I said, I got to take another tray over there. You know what I'm saying? He, now nah, you're going to wait till that one's empty. You're going to wait till that one's empty. Bring it back. And then you take out another one. I said, well, what's the difference? He said, the difference is, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to have your ass in the bathroom crying like I did yesterday. Baby, listen. That chilled my shit. It chilled my shit. It, uh, it did something to me. But I had to do what he said do. I had to. I had a frog in my motherfucking throat. I'm not going to lie to you. I had a fucking frog in my throat. Have it go. I, I get through. I get through the breakfast time. You know what I'm saying? After, after I empty all those trays or whatever, I'm trying to clean up. And he just coming. Keep coming back. And he's standing there. And he drinking that fucking coffee. And I'm mad that he's standing over me. Like he's an overseer. Like I'm a motherfucking slave. And like he's master. I'm mad at that. But I'm proud that he's drinking that motherfucking coffee with my motherfucking spit in it. You know what I'm saying? Next time I'm just going to have a little sugar gave repeat. It just is what it fucking is. You know what I'm saying? So I tell him. I'm, I'm cleaning up. He's standing there. I tell him I have to leave. I have to leave because I have a parole hearing. He tell me, you going to leave when I let you leave. My parole hearing was at 11 o'clock. This motherfucker did not write my pass. He did not write my pass until 1045. That meaning I had no time to get in the shower. I smelled like the chow hall. I smelled like all the food that had been cooked up in there, onions and shit. Um, only thing I had time enough to do was change my fucking clothes. You know what I'm saying? Before the CO told me come on I have to go down to the admin building um I'm mad and I'm funky but I'm on my way to the motherfucking parole board when I get up in the building uh, the CO sitting there her name was Miss Williams 
she you know hey how you doing she was very sweet i had seen her a few times she even came to see me when i was in the fucking hole she's one of those ceos um she's very pleasant to be around she's very soft-spoken and to work with her is an honor she stayed in the admin building she looked like an older version of beyonce she was just graceful you know what i'm saying it's like it's like I'm pretty sure her pee and her poop smell like potpourri and roses or some shit. She was just too good to be fucking true, but she really was a good ass woman. Have it go, you know. Uh, she tell me she's I'm gonna walk you up, you know. So I she get she get up from her desk and everything and we walking and it's like we got to go up these other set of stairs and we got to go down this hall now as we walking she's talking to me she said listen she said i know you nervous i tell her i said i really am i said i don't know what to expect she said listen she said they know everything about you she said when you get in there she said just be yourself she said once again they know everything about you do not lie do not go in there lying she said a lot of people go up in there lying he said whatever they ask you you be true to yourself be truthful you know, she's telling me this and I'm taking all this shit in and cause I'm not gonna lie to you in my head when they got up, when I got up in there, if this lady didn't say this shit, I was going to the fucking lie. I was going to lie, bitch. I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I need to say to get the fuck home. It just is what it is. Um, so I, we get to the door and the door is closed. So she tell me to have a seat and she wish me good luck. She turn around, she turn around thumbs up me and she going on down the stairs you know what i'm saying and i'm sitting there and i'm sitting there about 10 minutes you know what i'm saying before that door open and when that door open some bitch come out and this bitch is boo hoing god damn it she <laughs> i mean this bitch is going nuts she going like fucking crazy and that scares the fuck out of me the last thing i want to see is a bitch coming up out the motherfucking parole boy crying and this bitch got an ugly cry i'm talking about snotting <laughs> you know that, that god damn it she couldn't have possibly been paroled that bitch was hurt you know what I'm saying? That bitch was, that was a hurt cry. That was a, <laughs> that was one of those type of cries. So I'm, oh God, you know what I'm saying? I get the sweating and shit. I'm wiping my forehead. So the lady, the CO, she tell me, she said, Robinson. I say, yeah. She said, come on in. You know what I'm saying? She all happy and gung-ho and shit. And I'm talking about, God damn it. My, my, once again, my heart normally goes to my pussy. But that shit then took a detour and went to my ass. My ass, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, and I'm like, shit, BGs, bubble guts. I'm talking about I got a fire, all type of shit. It's going through my body and my mind, and I'm scared than a motherfucker. You know, this is how I know if I'm going home. You know, am I going to be free? This is how I know. So I'm, I walk in, and I'm standing there, and I'm looking at the man. He don't even look up at me. He's typing on the fucking computer. It's, he's sitting at a table. It's 10 chairs at this table, five on each side. It's a TV behind him. Um... The, the CEO who told me to come in, the big, healthy, black lady, he, he, he looking like Monique and shit, she slammed the door. I ain't never seen this bitch a day before in my fucking life. You know what I'm saying? She slammed the door. I turn around. It's a, listen, the way that door slammed, it's like when they first locked me in the cell the first time I ever got to fucking jail. You know what I'm saying? So my heart is beating so fucking fast. My shit is skipping beats. I'm talking about everything inside my body is going fucking wrong. You know, I almost forget my motherfucking name when he say Cecilia Robinson. I'm, yeah, you know, he, sit down, you know, have a seat. So I sit down, and the first thing I get to doing is playing with my my fingers. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my little that's my little uh, my, 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 my my mechanism shit. You know, uh, he stop fiddling. So I said, okay. He take a deep breath. He say, I'm do that. Now I done heard about this motherfucking man. This man, goddamn it, he makes you cry. You know what I'm saying? He don't got he don't filter. There's plenty of stories floating around the motherfucking prison about him. You know what I'm saying? He's a heavy set white man, red hair, red beard, uh, red mustache, blue eyes, glasses, white, corny, corny ass white shirt with flowers on it. I don't know how his fucking pants look. Um, he got a little watch or some shit, like a little Timex watch. Um, he he's married. He got a little wedding ring band on and shit. You know, I'm looking at him, he looking at me, he looked back down at the computer. He said, You got he said you got four kids. I say, Yeah. He say, Oh, me too. You know, so it's like, okay, nigga, I don't give a fuck about your kids. What's up? So he say, how you been enjoying your stay? So I say, I really haven't. He say, you ain't? I say, no. 
you know, I was like, I'm ready to go home. He said, I bet, I bet you are. He say, um, he say, so tell me why you want to come to prison. I say, well, I don't think I really want to come to prison. He say, think about that for a few minutes. He say, tell me why you wanted to come to prison. So I had to think about that shit for a few minutes. So I was quiet because I was in my head. Who the fuck wants to come to prison? Then I had to think about what this man is saying. Bitch, you out there committing crimes. You want to rob banks. You want to commit fraud. You want to have the credit cards and shit. Bitch, you wanted to come to prison. Anytime you commit a motherfucking crime, you're throwing bricks at the motherfucking penitentiary. So you want to come to prison. Unbeknownst to you, you wanted to go to prison. So I tell him, I say, shit. Well, I ain't say shit. I say, you know what? You're right. I really did want to come to prison. He said, that's what I was talking about. You know, he said, I got a lot of boats. He said, I have a lot of cars. He said, I like a lot of gadgets and stuff. He said, what do you like? I said, you know what? I said, I really don't know what I like. He said, you like money, don't you? I say, yeah. He said, that's why you in prison, right? I say, yeah. He said, because you was getting money the wrong way. I said, absolutely. I say, I, you, you know, you ain't saying nothing wrong. He said, I know. He said, I know everything about you. I said, I heard. He said, so you from Chicago, right? I say, yes. He say, what you think about the Bears? I was like, I really don't follow football like that. He said, you know what? I love the Bears. He said, I love the Bears. He said, I always go to all their games. I got to be honest with you. I love the Bears. And I'm thinking to myself, nigga, I don't give a fuck about you loving the fucking Bears. Is the Bears going to help me get the fuck home? So he tell me, he say, listen, he said, I got a video I want you to watch. And when I'm telling you this man, he's like hyper a little bit with me. He, I got a video I want you to watch. And I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Why the fuck am I watching a video? Why the fuck am I watching a video? Like, nigga, tell me if I'm going home or not. So he said, uh, he said, play the footage. He said, play the footage. Uh, and the way he is, he's animated kind of. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's a white guy. So I don't know. He's just animated kind of. He play the footage. You know what I'm saying? So she... Turn the TV on. Listen, when I say my motherfucking mouth fell open, my tongue rolled down my chin, hit the table, I could not believe what the fuck I was watching. Tell me why they got the motherfucking video footage of me whooping DP's motherfucking ass in the yard. And it's like four different screens, and it's me whooping her ass at different camera angles. You know what I'm saying? So this motherfucking man, dude, I hit him became a motherfucking commentator. Oh, she got a good right there. Look at her. Look at her. Her shoes are off. Look at her. You're hitting her again. And I'm looking like I cannot believe this shit. So at this point, I'm thinking this man is making a mockery of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to fucking feel. So he for four minutes he watched this motherfucking video and talk talk about me hitting her and I'm talking about he's doing a blow by blow commentary and I'm nervous. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe he's trying to make an example out of me. I don't know what's gonna happen next because this shit's weird to me. You know what I'm saying? At this point, nigga, hurry the fuck up so we can get this over with. Let me know what the fuck is gonna happen. So I, I watched the screen go back black. The like CO turn the lights on. You know what I'm saying? He turned back to me. He says, so, do you like the Bears? I say, listen, I say, I don't follow football like that. He said, well, can you promise me something? I said, what? He said, can you promise me you'll go see the Bears game when you go home? I say, can I promise you I'll go see a Bears game when I go home? He say, yeah. He said, I really like the Bears. He said, so I want you to like them too. Can you promise me you'll go see the Bears game when you go home? I said, okay, I said, I promise. He said, can you promise me something else? I said, what? He said that you'll never come before me again. I said, I don't want to come before you again. He said, no, can you promise me that you'll never come before me again? He said, because if I see you again, you won't go home for a very long time. I said, well, I promise I'll never come before you again. He said, so you got four kids, right? I say, yeah. He said, listen, I want you to go, go back to your unit. He said, do you got phone time tonight? I said, no. I said, but I'm pretty sure I can get some. He said, well, I want you to go back to your unit. He said, I want you to get on the phone and call your four children. And I want you to tell them that you're coming home. I didn't know how to feel. Like, I'm, I've been home for a very long time right now. But I still get emotional with this. It just is what it is. I didn't know how to feel. So it's like, what? He said, I want you to go to the unit and tell your kids you're coming home. I said, you for real? He said, yeah. So... You know, I'm a little teary at it, so I get up. I'm trying, listen, I've been crying. I'm not trying to cry no fucking more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting ready to walk up out of there. He said, oh, no, no, no. He said, let them fucking tears fall. First time he called, he let them fucking tears fall. He said, don't you go out of here smiling. He said, I got a reputation to uphold. He said, let them tears fall. Baby, what I say when I, 
listen, <laughs> I cried all the way back to the unit. And those tears was worth fucking crying. When I got back to the unit, um, I went in. I knew Miss K had phone time. I um I knew she had phone time. And I got on the phone and I called my daughter and told them I'm coming home. You know, I'm coming home. So after I got off my phone call, my kids were so excited. My kids were so excited. I got a phone call, went back to the to the uh cell and I cried hard in Miss K's arms. And she told me, she said, baby, she said, listen, she said, suck the motherfucking tears up. She said, your hardest test that came yet. She said, people finna find out you going home. She said, motherfuckers really finna be at you. She said, you ain't seen nothing yet. Listen, y'all stay tuned. Y'all be smooth.